Hey my little fishies, what is up? It's me, it's Anna, and today I have a new video for you guys. As you can see at the title, today I am doing something I've never done before. But today I'm gonna talk to you guys about some conspiracy theories. Yay! Um, I love conspiracy theories so much, like, no joke. I really like conspiracy theories. The thing is, like, I love all the Shane Dawson conspiracy theory videos. Every time I watch one of those videos, there's a possibility of me not sleeping for like three weeks straight because I scared myself watching those conspiracy theories. Um, anyways, even though that happens, I still love them because they question life and they make it very interesting. <laughs> If you guys want me to do more conspiracy theory videos, just let me know in the comments down below and give me some sites on where I can find some good conspiracy theories or let me know if you guys have any good conspiracy theories yourself and maybe I'll talk to them about it. Wait, maybe I'll talk about them though. <laughs> so I found these conspiracy theories on theweek.co.uk so just so you know it's not my I didn't make them up or something. This is the website by our phone and I'm just gonna read them to you. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited and let's get into the first conspiracy theory. So the first conspiracy theory is about Paul McCartney. Um, one of the most unusual pop culture conspiracy theories concerns a member of the Fab Four. Beatles legend has it that Paul McCartney secretly died in 1966 at the height of the band's fame and that the other three members covered it up by hiring someone who looked and sang like him. All right. Beatle maniacs point to numerous clues in the band's later albums as proof of this. The SGT Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band album is, they claim, a wash with Paul is dead. Clues such as the lyrics to A Day in Life which featured, which featured the line, he blew his mind out in a car. And the recorded phrase, Paul is dead, miss him, miss him. What the hell? Which becomes evident only when the song is played backward. Lennon also mumbled, I buried Paul at the end of Strawberry Fields Forever. Although he later denied there was any hidden meaning in the lyrics and what he actually sang was cranberry sauce. Much is also made of the Beatles' use of imagery after 1966. The original cover of 1966's Yesterday and Today album featured the Beatles' post Emmett Raw meets and dismembered doll parts, symbolizing McCartney's gruesome accident, says Time magazine. The magazine also claims that if fans placed a mirror in front of the STG Pepper album cover, the words Lonely Heart on the drummer on the drum logo could be read as 11X He Die 111. Most famously, there is the Abbey Road album cover in which John Lennon, dressed in white, leads a funeral procession across the street. Ringo follows in black as a mourner, with George in jeans representing a gravedigger. Paul McCartney walks out of step with the rest of the band and barefoot. As some had it, he would have no need of shoes in the afterlife. Elvis is alive. Music legend Elvis Presley died on August 16, 1977. Or did he? If the latest conspiracy theory is to be believed, the king of rock and roll faked his own death and now works as a groundsman in Graceland. Grainy footage of a bearded man has been posted on YouTube by The Shadow, who claims to figure is an 81-year-old Elvis. In the caption for the video, which has been viewed nearly 2.2 million times, The Shadow writes, he raises his two fingers to the top of his left head as a proof of life signal. In child in numero numerology, the numerical value of phi sign in numerology is 9, proof of life. He told us he is alive with the simple phi sign. Number 9, I'm alive. He is giving us a clue that he knows we are all there watching him and to his most loyal fans that he is indeed with us. 
while some say the claims are idiotic and elfish should be left to rest in peace, the belief that the king is out there looks unlikely to fade away. Chemtrails Chemtrails, which have gripped the internet of late, regularly feature high in any list of the top conspiracy theories. Chemtrails conspiracy theorists vary in their claims, says the BBC, but some of the most popular include the belief that the white lines in the sky trailing planes are actually some kind of chemical sprayed by the government to control the weather. The scientists carrying out research about how to, how to counteract climate change through a process called geoengineering are secretly poisoning us. Or even that secret powerful groups are spraying us with chemicals to make us pliant and easy to control. So I've read about this conspiracy theory and it's very interesting because if you think about it, normally if a plane like flies across the sky, there's like a trail behind it and it's only there for like a few seconds to a few minutes. But sometimes there are also planes that fly over and when they're out of eyesight, the trails are still in the sky and they haven't disappeared yet. They're still there. So, there could be a possibility that those trails that are, leave, that are left behind have chemicals in them to control the population. Susan May Mayher, the founder of Bye Bye Blue Sky, a group established to raise awareness of chemtrails dismissed suggestions they were a, comp a conspiracy theory. She claims trails from planes have only existed for 20 or 30 years. A claim rubbished by the BBC, which says you can clearly see condensation trails left behind aircrafts in images from the Battle of Britain during the Second World War. So, if they are not mind-controlling spray trails, what are they really? Aliens helped build Stonehenge. This one I'm very interested in reading about because I visited Stonehenge this summer actually. And I'm interested to hear about what they have to say about it. The series of boulders that make up Stonehenge have long puzzled experts and provided material material ripe for conspiracy theorists. Most pertinent Pertinent is the question, how were the stones, some weighing 50 tons, transported and arranged to where they sit today? Without basic transportation technology, such as wheels, which were invented more than five centuries after Stonehenge is believed to have been built, there is no obvious answer to how the biggest stones were moved. Those stones are huge. I can see where they're coming from, because I think that even to this day, there's no manpower who could do it. They would need machines to lift it. They couldn't do it without ma machines. That's not possible. Much of what scientists do know about the construction of Stonehenge is from educated guesses and constantly evolving research. The newest of which suggests that in fact two of the largest builders that make up Stonehenge have always been more or less where they sit today. Alternatively, of course, scientists should shun the research and read Eric von Däniken's seminal book Chariots of the Gods, which makes the argument that many ancient megastructures, such as Stonehenge, the Egyptian pyramids, and the Moe heads of Easter Island were built using know-how passed down from god-like aliens to mankind. Reptilian Elite The reptoid hypothesis is a conspiracy theory which advances the argument that reptile and humanoids live among us with the intention of enslaving the human race. It has been championed by the former BBC Sports presenter David Icke who believes the likes of Bob Hope, members of the royal family, and former US presidents George W. Bush and Bill Clinton are part of the Anunnaki, of the Anunnaki 
race who came to Earth for monatomic gold. Critics accused Ike of anti-Semitism, alleging that his talk of reptiles was code for Jews. But he clarified that the lizards to which he referred were literal and not metaphorical. Area 51. In 1947, claims that an alien spacecraft had landed in Roswell, New Mexico, were dismissed by the US military, which said the alien aircraft was merely a weather balloon. Uvologists believe that the spacecraft was taken into Area 51, a division of Edwards Air Force Base. And the US government has been researching alien technology and life forms on the site ever since. Video footage of an alleged alien autopsy has been shown to be fake. But Area 51 is known to be a secretive and heavily guarded base. The reasons, however, may be more earthly than the conspiracy theories suggest. The U-2 spy plane and several other top-secret aircraft were developed and tested here. Moon landings. <sighs> I've seen so much about this one and I'm interested. Neil Armstrong's giant leap kicked off one of the most persistent conspiracy theories of the 20th century, that the 1969 landings and all of those that followed were faked by NASA and that no human being has ever set foot on the surface of the moon. Even though there is substantial evidence to the contrary, including moon rocks brought back to Earth and man-made objects left on the moon, some remain a demand that film director Stanley Kubrick was hired to produce the footage after his experience on 2001 A Space Odyssey. So, those were all the conspiracy theories I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed them, and this is the second time an ambulance or police car drove past my house. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. If you want to see me do more conspiracy theories, let me know in the comments down below. Give me some conspiracy theories you believe in yourself and let me know some sites on which I can find really good conspiracy theories. Yes, I hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And then you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Bye my little fishies!